First, though, a Crossville police report says a SWAT team responded to a home thinking it would find a shooter, but instead it was a false report. That report says it happened at about 2 o'clock Saturday morning on County Garage Road. The report says dispatch got a call from a man who said his brother had shot his mother and walked out of the home with a shotgun and a Glock. WBIR 10 News reporter Stephanie Haynes joins us now. And Stephanie, the report says this may have been a spoof call. Robin and John, the report says authorities got there to find no shooter, just a family at home sleeping. It also says a woman told police that the call may have been somebody else pretending to call from her number, and that's what's called spoofing. According to a Crossville police report, dispatch got a call from a man who said his brother shot his mother and was walking out of the home with a shotgun and a Glock. The report describes an intense scene. Authorities arrived surrounding the home and asked to call out a SWAT team. They started talking to a woman, telling her to put her hands on her head and walk backwards to the end of the driveway. The woman said she had no idea what was going on. Her parents were inside sleeping and there was no shooting. Police looked inside and found everyone was okay, just scared. Crossville Police is now investigating it as an alleged swatting and false report incident. The report also says the woman told police she had gotten calls from someone who she thought was spoofing her number and told her they were going to call SWAT. We asked tech expert Luke Wood about what spoofing is. You make your number look like another number, another phone number, so you, so you can mask where you're calling from. He says it's really simple. In fact, he downloaded an app and called me from my own number. His advice is to simply not answer any calls from numbers you don't know. Make it common knowledge. Like if you call me and I don't know the number, if you're not in my contacts, I'm not answering the phone. Leave me a voicemail, I'll call you back. Uh, or text me or email me, you know, however you want to do it. No one was hurt and the report says the investigation is ongoing and no char charges have been filed at the time of the report. We spoke to one of the family members who said they are thanking police for doing a good job. Robert and John. Stephanie, thank you.